Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P0432 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Dodge P0432 code? Well, it's a main catalyst efficiency below threshold bank 2. And what does this mean? Well, the catalytic converter needs to run at at least 95% efficiency. And if it drops below this, then the onboard computer will read this. So it's giving out an error code because it's seeing a problem with the catalytic converter. And while this could be a bad catalytic converter, there's some things to try first or some other things that could cause this problem. And mainly the first thing to check is going to be the O2 sensors. And there's going to be two sensors. It's going to be upstream and a downstream sensor. And the O2 sensors is what the onboard computer uses to read information for what's going on inside the system and the catalytic converter. And in older cars, they'd only be oxygen sensors. They'd only read oxygen. But in newer ones, they also have heating elements in them. So they send more data back to the onboard computer. And when a catalytic converter starts to fail, it puts out more heat. So this can mean that the catalytic converter has failed. But... One of these sensors can also go bad and they could be reporting back to the onboard computer that there's an issue when there's not an issue. So it's the first thing to check is to see if the oxygen sensors are good or not. And like I said, there'll be two of them. There'll be an upstream and a downstream sensor. And the onboard computer uses the difference between these two to see what's going on in the system. And one thing to mention is be sure to check this wiring. Since any bad wiring, a bad connection, an open or short going to these oxygen sensors, can cause the same issue as a bad sensor. And so if you got through and you check the oxygen sensors and you tested them or you replaced them and you know the wiring's good, then the next thing is that the catalytic converter is likely either clogged or it's gone bad. And so you can either replace it or you could try to get more mileage out of it by running some cleaner through it like Cataclean. I'll put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But basically what many people do and what you could try is that you put this into the gas as a gas additive. Then you take the vehicle out on the freeway, you drive like 15, 20 miles, you really rev up the engine, and hopefully you could blow out any gunk buildup inside the catalytic converter and get some more miles out of it. And this is commonly done mainly with vehicles that are city-driven, because city-driven vehicles, they don't get revved up a lot, so they don't blow out the catalytic converter as much as they should. So this could work with, with the vehicle that has a lot of city driving, and you may get the air to clear and not come back for a while. Of course, if that doesn't work, then you'll have to replace the catalytic converter very likely. And these can be kind of difficult to replace. Sometimes they're usually just straightforward to replace. They'll have some bolts on either side and you unbolt them and you bolt in the new one. But the bolts can become rusted up or they can become, they can be kind of a pain to get out on some dodges. So it's just going to vary on the location of them and, and how stuck in there that they are. But the next step would be to replace the catalytic converter. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a dodge with the P0432 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.